If you play League of Legends, there's a chance you've been slammed to a fuckman by Laoi, but you've probably never seen her like this. <laughs> yeah, high level of humor on my channel. Let's get right into the fucking news. <clears throat> I mean, let's get right into telling you whether or not you should play Laoi. Laoi, or as I like to call her, Laoi Akbar, is also the most halal champion I've picked up in the last year. You see, League of Legends isn't about having fun. It's about taking turns being miserable. Lahui is part of the small handful of champions I like to call. It's always the enemy's turn to be miserable, which is my second favorite category of League Champions. My favorite, of course, being it's all nine other players' turns to be miserable. But enough semantics about how much I hate other human beings. Let's go over Inshallah's abilities. Her passive spawns a tentacle every now and then. They come out of the walls to fuck yordles, much like in your favorite hentai. Her Q is Flim Flam. It slams a giant tentacle, or in my case, penis, down on the opponents in a straight line. Her entire kit revolves around these tentacles, in fact, so you can see why I was drawn to this character. Her W, slam, gives her an empowered auto attack that lets her jump and slam the opponents with extra damage. All tentacles around her also happens to slam someone if you hit them with your W. Oh, and did I mention that all the tentacles are basically your Q coming from a wall? What I'm trying to say here is that, ya yeah, boy, this champ does damage. Iluhas. E, Spirit Tentacle, uses a tentacle to pull out the enemy's soul. You can then totally molest it all you want until they get a restraining order. If you've done permanent damage to their psyche, their psychosis will spawn tentacle illusions all around them, leading them to their inevitable demise. Even if they get out of the abusive relationship early, they could still have lasting trauma. And finally her ult, Ultimate, Ultimate Tentacle, tentacle Fuckfest. Fuck How do I even begin to explain this glorious ability? No, 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 I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm not Trin Immortal. Moshi Moshi, motherfucker! Trin Desu! <laughs> Fucking weeb. Anyways, she jumps in the air and dunks the ground, spawning a tentacle for each opponent hit in a huge circle around her. And yes, this will spawn an extra tentacle if you hit a tentacle ghost. It also makes your tentacle slam 50% faster and makes them invulnerable. Oh, and it puts your W on a 2 second cooldown. While we're at it, I should mention that it also sucks your dick without a gag reflex and does your taxes. This singular ability turns Laoi from a Lilo grown up on steroids looking ass tentacle enthusiast to a fucking Diana Kadao on 11 growth hormones with cocaine up her ass tentacle goddess. And while we're at it, let's go over her build real quick. This is something that most people would build on Laoi. I can't endorse this build. See, if I'm the one teaching you to play Alawi, which, spoiler alert, I am because you're watching my fucking video, this is how you're gonna build Alawi. And I know the degenerates out there might ask, but Uber, by sacrificing all defensive stats, won't you just die in two seconds? Yes, but this channel isn't about being a fucking pussy. It's about making League of Legends goddamn great again. And if you stick to the Uber build, you can 1v5 an entire enemy team and fuck them till they scream. <laughs> as you penetrate their corpses to celebrate your tentacle. While we're at it, since I'm not allowed to stream this skin on Twitch anymore, I might as well let you guys have some fun with it. So if you're gonna play Laoi, please do take two seconds to install the custom skin installing software Wuxi and download the Laoi cock skin from the description. You might as well set yourself up for success. You'll be 400% happy you're slamming people with giant purple dicks as opposed to tentacles. Now let me jerk off into your brain all the reasons why I fucking love Alawi. You see, I'm the type of nigga white person that hates both all five players on the enemy team, but also the four players on my own team. I hate relying on them, and every time my jungle comes top, it just fucks everything up. So I like to rely on champions and playstyles that let you kill everything without the help of anyone, and going full AD Lowry is exactly that. I don't know any champ in the game that's more suited to 2v1, and it's just so fucking satisfying to flash a level 7 mastery after having a rough threesome with two unprepared fuckmen. Iluha just feels right. You click Q, it fucking slams them. You click W, it fucking slams them. You click E, uh, I mean, well, you fucking molest them. You click R and you... I mean, I mean, you slam them. My point is, Riot, if any of you watch my channel, please listen carefully. Why have you not made a Dunk Master Alawi skin? Huh? 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 It's probably the most satisfying situation I can imagine in League, to see five enemies clumped up while you're full build on full AD Alawi. 
You just flash into all five of them, hentai pull out one of their ghosts, slam all six fuckboys and then continue to ravage them with a plethora of tentacles or, you know, dicks. She's one of the few champions that has true 1v5 potential and for that I fucking love you Riot. I mean, you might not have invited me to League Fest, you might not ever want to talk to me, but at least you're still making this game fun for me, so thank you for that. I just... I just... I just thanked Riot. And now that I've slandered my own image beyond redemption, you better put your condoms on because it's time for the fucking ratings. As for her looks, I mean she ain't all that hot, but I'ma be real. There's so many sexualized female characters in League. I'm kinda happy to see them making fucking Harambe in female form. It's very original character design and she looks slick as fuck. I'm gonna give El Hawi Akbar an 8 out of 10. I would've given her a 10 out of 10, but custom skins don't count baby! Custom skins don't count. And as for her gameplay, it follows all the rules of the Quran. I can't say the same for her looks as she's still missing a scarf, but her gameplay is nikni walah, nikni hakiti, as they say in the holy scriptures. It's unique, fun, doesn't get repetitive, and has a high level of mastery. I give Alawi's gameplay a 10 out of 10. And finally, for the only score you should care about, my personal enjoyment, I'm gonna give Luha 7 flim flams. Out of seven. Oh my god. Seven flim flames. That would be good. Beautiful. Seven flim flames. Just beautiful. Should you play Lowie? Nah. -uh. That means yes in Arabic. <laughs>